Hey guys, what's going on? This is MyHD Two and Others, and today I'm going to be comparing the CPU versus the GPU. So basically, what I'm going to do is take one video file and put it in two different video editing programs, such as Sony Vegas Pro 9, and then I'm going to put it in this video program called Super Low Low Scope. Um, I think it has a Pro after Low Low Scope, but I'm not sure. I think it's just called this. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I don't know if I'm saying this right or not. So this program allows me to render my videos uh, with my GPU. And it, it's actually a very great editing program also. So let me find my video. Um, hold on. Alright, that's the video. And I'm also going to put it in here. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alright, <clears throat> so this video is roughly 2 minutes and 30 seconds, um, let's go ahead and close this. So, first off, I'm going to render with the CPU, and I'm going to re render at the same exact settings with the GPU also, but, um, Sony Vegas Pro 9 does not have GPU rendering, so I can't really show you guys that um, so I'm gonna just render with the CPU in this program so night actually this video is in 720p so I'm just gonna render in 720p 30 frames per second constant bit rate let's turn it up to 14 megabytes per second or bits per second audio is this <clears throat> pretty basic um, so I think it's uh, pretty much exactly the same in this program too. Um, so there we go, 14 bits per second, 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, profile profile main, and field order none. So I'm going to render this video, I'm going to render it, render, I'm going to name it, render CPU1, and then we're going to see how long it takes to render this video with my CPU and I'll come back with the results. Alright guys, so the video rendering is almost done with my CPU. It looks like it's about to take about a minute once it's done. So let's go ahead and wait for it to finish. La da da, la di la di, la di da, la di da da, la di da da. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so about 10 minutes. All right, nine minutes and 57 seconds. That's how much it takes to render a two minute video. Yeah, so let's see exactly how long this video is. Two minutes and 30 seconds. So that's how long it takes to render a two minute and 30 second video at pretty good settings um, for like YouTube or something. All right, actually let's go ahead and close this. Alright, now let's go ahead and open Super Low Low Scope. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and we have the same exact video, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. As you can see. Um, so, the thing about this program is, well, it, first of all, it's a free trial. But it also lets you file, out, file output as with your NVIDIA card. And I have a GTX 560. And... Um, this thing roars with speed. I mean, it renders the video faster than I can freaking play it. Alright, so we're actually going to keep it constant, 1414, just like we did with the CPU benchmark. Or not the benchmark, I mean, the um, render. Anyways, this doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to 720p, frame rate 30 frames per second, and of course, it's going to stay at that. Alright, so there we go. This is MP4 format. And we're going to go ahead and render. And I'm not going to even stop the video. I'm just going to show you guys how fast it is. Now, before I start this, actually, there are two benefits of a GPU rendering. The first one is, of course, the speed of which you render your videos. But the second one is that it lets you... Uh, do other things while the video is rendering. So, 
Um, if I were, you know, I was running with my Vegas Pro 9 program just right now, and I tried to go to some websites, but it was kind of slowing down. I mean, I don't have this best CPU, you know, but it was slowing down for me. So with this, uh, the GPU does all the work, and your CPU just sits back and does nothing. Um, and you don't have to get like a high-end, you know, video card for this to work. You can get a uh, any any video card that has CUDA cores so like an 8800 GT that that would work just fine and that's very cheap anyways let's go ahead and see by the way this program costs about 80 bucks so it's not that much <laughs> all right so render number two <coughs> excuse me runner GPU 2 all right save now let's go ahead and see how fast this is so uh for my other channel, I actually made this really long video, this gameplay video with Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam, and I made it 30 minutes, um, and I rendered in 720p with uh, 10 megabytes per second, and uh, that video was 30 minutes. The program rendered the video in about 18 minutes, so, you know, it renders faster than that video can actually play. Um, so, as you can see, it's very fast. Um, it's just amazing. I'm I'm amazed that my GTX 560 can render videos this fast. Now, uh, huh? I was gonna say something else. Never mind. La di da da da. La di da da da. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't actually do that. <sighs> yep. Just waiting. Huh. Wow, I've been zoomed in this whole time. Sorry. I'm using a DSLR here. Canon T1i, so I can't really focus with this thing. I don't focus, I mean, I gotta like press a button. Button, button. Alright, so as you can see, very fast. Uh, in less time than the actual video so that's just amazing I mean you can be watching your own video while the vi video that you're watching is being rendered and you'll probably render it faster than you watch your own video so that's that's amazing um that's just amazing to me so let's have it go finish here <coughs> Converting to MP4, and there we go. We have the video. There is our video. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Now you know that GPU rendering is a lot faster than the CPU. Even if I had a Core i7 980GX, you know, like even if I had a, the best server PC, any PC, I mean CPU, <laughs> not PC. Um, even if I had the best CPU, it would not beat my GPU right now. Because the GPU has these CUDA cores and they are pretty much meant for this kind of stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, I can convince you guys that the GPU rendering is really effective. But I really wish they would implement it into uh, you know other programs like Adobe After Effects. Um, I know they have that OpenGL graphics thing where you can click that in, in renders with your hardware but it doesn't doesn't actually use your nvidia cores you know cuda cores um so hopefully uh these video editing programs implement that you know into them later on so thank you guys for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it and if you like to see my future videos please uh subscribe to my channel and see you later